Oh boy, what's going on guys and welcome back to some more Pokemon Red. In the last part, we made it to good old Lavender Town and uh, this part we're going to explore a little bit of Lavender Town. Now there's not actually much we can do in uh, Lavender Town and I'll elaborate this more later, but um, first of all, I'm going to go into the Mart really quickly because uh, Let's say, uh, I'm gonna buy some Great Balls, let's just say. Uh, let's buy about maybe 15 of them. That's all I really need. Uh, maybe buy some more Antidotes. And, uh, maybe buy, uh, maybe buy a few Paralysis Heal Tubes. We used a bit of them in the, we used a bit of them in the, uh, what am I trying to say? We, we used a bit of them in the Rock Tunnel. Now, um, there is a one person I'd like to kind of demonstrate in the, uh, Lavender Town really quickly. It's not this house, but I think it's this house. It's not actually it is this house, but um it is this house. This guy actually over here. Hello, hello, I'm the official name raider. Want me to na rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? Now, this guy allows you to change the nickname of your Pokemon, but uh we're not gonna do that, let's just say. However, we are gonna get on the bicycle, and uh now if we go on this route right here, this is the exact same route where the Snorlax was on, the sleeping Pokemon was on earlier. So, we have to go up and, uh, try to see if we can, uh, go left instead. So, uh, I guess, uh, let's see. What Pokemon do I have out in the front right here? Um, yeah, let's try to see if we can get, uh, Peach Learn Body Slam. I get, we get, there's gonna be a lot of turns on this route. Where do keep around fluffy Pokemon? Now, um, I think this is route, um, I forget. I think this is route 7, and, uh, the new Pokemon you can find this route depend on version. If you're playing the red version, you can find Growlithe, and if you're playing the blue version, you can find Vulpix. I prefer Growlithe over Vulpix, and I've definitely used Growlithe on my team in a lot of playthroughs. However, Growlithe is going to have a massive disadvantage because I ruled out using version exclusives, so I'm out, I'm unfortunately going to have to pass on such an amazing fire type. Um, I do plan on getting a fire type much later in the game, but uh, it's not going to be Growlithe, let's just say, but... Uh, yeah, this trainer's actually going to have two Clefairies, so, uh, essentially, it's, a uh, a Clefairy versus a Jigglypuff that's, uh, ten levels higher, but, um... Yeah, this Clefairy knows Double Slap. Thankfully, we haven't had, like, a Double Slap critical hit rate yet, but, um, we've already gone all of this, or so if one Double Slap's a crit, they're all crits, but, um... And good, we're going to use one of our Awakenings. So, uh, yeah. I did not mean to waste a turn right there. Yeah, this thing is just gonna fan battle sauce. So let's just use uh let's just use uh awakening. We have five though, so we're gonna have to buy more of those. And this thing just keeps using growl, so uh just use pound. Eventually we're gonna learn body sand. That's a much better move than pound, but um we didn't get a level up, unfortunately, but, uh, let's just say, uh, this trainer right here is a, uh, gambler. We can tell by the sprite. I am a rambling gambling dude. Anyway, so gambler wants to find gambler sent out Growlithe. So, yeah, you can find Growlithe on this, uh, route in the red version, but Vul Vul Growlithe is more, uh, physical, where, uh, where uh, Growlithe is more physic offensive, where uh, Vulpix is more defensive. However, I'm not the biggest fan of Vulpix mainly because high special defensive stats are not really what you, I look for in a fire type. So if you're playing the blue version, I'd say maybe pass off on Vulpix. It learns some good moves, just doesn't have very good stats for a fire type. Can we get a level up, please? Okay, we didn't get a level up. How close is Peach to a level up? Because I want her to learn Body Slam, uh, this part. So, uh... She's 809 XP away from a level up. So, uh... There's one trainer I want to explain on this route, but, uh, we'll, we'll see when we get to him. We need strategy to win at this. Anyway, so Super Nerd wants to fight, and Super Nerd sent out Grimer. So, uh... Yeah, let's just, uh, we should, uh, though hopefully we don't get poisoned. I think this trainer actually has a muck, come to think of it, but, um. 
Well, if we get poison, we can just flat out use rest and have it, instead of having to wait, waste one of our antidotes. But, um, this is essentially a pound contest because we're 10 levels higher, we win this. But, um, oh, it, it does know him. It, does, it is going to sound as muck. So, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can sit, use Sing on this thing and uh, pound it to death. But that doesn't really uh, work as much as I thought it would. And we're all for poison, so, uh, anyway, I'm just gonna use one of my antidotes because this thing is asleep, so, uh, uh, so I'm just gonna use Sing and, uh, pound this to death. So, uh, yeah, as long as this thing stays asleep. This thing is also 10 levels lower, but it is, it's not doing much damage, though. It's not really the level required to be a muck, either, so, uh, We can get high risk, high reward in terms of uh, XP. Alright, a couple more pounds. One more pound should do it. Yeah, and he's fast asleep. So, uh, yeah, we definitely uh, play this to our advantage. And Peach is level 33. One more level learns a really good move. Um, let's just take out a Grimer. So, let's just take out Grimer. We are unfortunately halfway through on PP for, uh... I think I'll go to the Pokemon, back to the Pokemon Center after this battle, so, uh... Yeah, I think I'll go back to the Pokemon Center, so, uh... Once we take out this Grimer... Alrighty, so back on Route 8, and I got this wrong, it's not actually Route 7, it's, uh, Route 8, so, uh... I also went back and uh, fought those early, those earlier trainers I skipped off screen, and uh, Jigglypuff is almost level 34, where it should learn or uh, should learn Body Slam and all that. But uh, once she learns Body Slam, she's gonna be a hell of a lot better, let's just say. But uh, I want to get this thing Jigglypuff up to level 39, where we'll learn uh, Double Edge, and then I'm gonna evolve it into a Wigglytuff. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it looks like it's going to be a uh, 2 pounds. This Nidoran should also be a Nidorina, or even a Nidoqueen if this thing had a Moonstone. Yeah, I'm not... With Pokemon that evolve through stones, I am not the usually the biggest fan... Oh, there is a Nidorina, but, um... I'm usually not the biggest fan of evolving them right away. Like, I, I usually... With Jigglypuff and Clefairy, I like to make them learn every possible move before I evolve them. Same thing, be, same thing would be with Growlithe. If we, the biggest problem with using Growlithe in Gen 1 also, another reason I decided not to use it on my team, was uh, it doesn't learn a second Fire-type move until level 50 where it learns Flamethrower. So that's another reason I, I decided not to use it on my team. Anyway, so we um we should get a... We should be able to get a uh, second... Uh, we should be able to learn Body Slam. So we'll just replace Pound with that. And yay, extra money we'll get in this battle. Let's just say Jigglypuff so Peach so far have been taking a lot of hits, but um Buster have spoke too soon, but uh yeah, once Jigglypuff is a later level, it can definitely take a lot of hits. And looky, look at this! I've been waiting for this for like 10 parts now, and we're gonna learn but we're gonna replace power body slam. And look at how much more quickly we're going to take out these Pokemon. So, uh... Look at this. Um, I think bot we can plot out one-shot this also. Yeah, we're going to one-shot these Pokemon now. So, uh... I want to try to see if I can get Jig Peach up as many levels as possible. Because Jigglypuff is an easy Pokemon to level up, let's say. But, um, it's not going to be as much of a case when it's a Wigglytuff. But, um... Like, uh, yeah, we defeated last, so, uh, how, how, um, how much is, uh, Jigglypuff to level 35, um... I guess I'll make a, tw a quick trip back to the Pokemon Center, so I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway, so back on Route 8, um, we should be able to get Jigglypuff up one more, le one more level, but, um, I think this is a, uh, a Super Nerd, it's a, uh, yeah, it's another Super Nerd. Super Nerd wants to fight, Super Nerd no popping, so, uh... Yes, yeah, so around around this point in the game, we're gonna start seeing more poison types. So uh, one body slam didn't take it out, but thankfully we're, we know body slam, so it's two body slams can take it out. So uh, 
And coughing in general can give a lot of XP, so, uh... Now, there's one trainer at the end of this row. I also want to explain kind of how to, um, what am I trying to say? To kind of explain, uh, what you can do with him. But anyway, so, uh, we'll look at how much, how little damage we're taking. To be fair, we're 15 levels ahead of this thing, so, uh, yeah, Pidgey, rat it out. I think this is the very last route in the game we fight lasses, so I guess, um, we can kind of send those off and, boy, did we flinch right there. And, uh, Neater and Mail, and, uh, not, this thing should be a Neaterino, so, uh, yeah, I think this is about the last, one of the very last routes in the game we start fighting unevolved. Pokemon like Nidoran, so uh, I guess we can kind of send. Th this is generally considered the mid game in this game, so uh, we're generally about halfway through this. So, uh, oh, a Pikachu, so uh, and uh, don't paralyze me, don't paralyze me. Okay, thank you. It was a critical hit though, and it's it's 15 levels lower, and it was faster than us, but uh. Anyway, so, um... Now, this trainer right here... This trainer right here is another way to do the Mew glitch. Basically, you, uh... You go you go down from up here, then pause, and then, uh... You just fly to get back to the throne stage. This trainer is basically another way to do the Mew glitch. If you didn't do it earlier, but, uh... Alright, let's roll the dice, so, um... I think this trainer has like a poly wagon or something. It's a new Pokemon also, so it's not really the side to fight him, but uh yeah, it has a polywag, so uh let's get our girl Peach up a level. This thing is faster than us, so uh to be fair, Jigglypuff is not the fastest of Pokemon, let's say it's a very slow Pokemon, come to think of it. And Peach level 35, so I think this is where I'm done with uh, trying to get Peach up more levels in this part, because we got her up a solid three more levels, so, uh, two more levels, actually, but, uh, I think Bowser's close to a level up, so we'll try to see if we can get, uh, him up one more level. Because he also knows Body Slam, so, uh... And, you know, and, oh, sweet, a Poliwhirl, so, uh... Poliwhirl is another Pokemon that evolves through a Water Stone, so uh, it doesn't evolve in a Politoed through trading in this gen like it does in later gens, but, um, really Gen 2 and later, but, uh, though personally, either way, I prefer Poliwrath over Politoed, so, uh, now, um, how close is my level? Because he's my lowest level. Okay, he's not very close, so, uh, let's just, uh, go in here. Anyway, so, this is the last time we hear this music in the whole game, so, uh, one of the last times. We hear it again much later, but, uh, I guess it's a nice little send-off, but, uh... Now, um, this right here is, uh, route... This is what I was thinking of with Route 7, so, uh, however, um... You can find the same Pokémon on Route 7 as you could with Route 8, however... Guess where we are now? We are in Celadon City. So now is an appropriate time to cut it off for this part of Pokemon Red. So uh, next time on Pokemon Red, um, why don't we uh, actually uh, explore a little bit of Celadon City? See you guys then.